हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand J K Bayes table. This block diagram represents the J K Bayes table. In this block diagram, you can observe we are having two inputs, which is J and K. Along with this, we are having a clock signal. Along with these two inputs, we are having two more control signals, or which is also known as direct inputs, which is preset. and clear and we are having two outputs which is q and q bar here q is the output and q bar is the complement of q which means if q is 0 q bar should be 1 and if q is 1 q bar should be 0 now let us see the operation of this jk bayes table always remember the preset and clear signal both should be active low here preset signal as well as clear signal should be active low if we say active low now when preset is 0 and clear is 1 the output q will be equal to 0 because clear is 1 and when preset is 1 and clear is 0 output q will be equal to One, since clear is one, so clear, which means output should be zero. And when preset is one, we are presetting the input. So at that case, output will be one. Now let us see the operation of JK flip flop when preset and clear signals are applied. So when preset and clear are zero, if both preset and clear are zero, the output is indeterminate, which means it is invalid so which means we should not apply clear and preset zero at a time when preset is zero and clear is one output is zero so q is set to zero and when preset is one and clear is zero output is set to one which means q will be equal to one and when preset is one and clear is 1 at that case we can apply input j and k which can be seen in other table once we make preset and clear signal as 1 then we can apply the input j and k for that we'll get various output so if we apply preset as different values like 0 0 01 and 10 so these are the output which we get and once we apply preset as 1 1 we can apply input for j and k now when j is 0 and k is 0 output will be qn so here qn plus 1 represents next state and qn represents the present state if we say next state which means whatever output we get if we apply clock signal if we say present state the present output of the bias table so when j is 0 k is 0 output will be present state so output will not change so whatever output we have got for the previous state the same output will obtain so that's why it is also known as memory state so when we make j as 0 and k as 0 so this state is known as memory state when j is 0 and k is 1 output will be 0 when j is 1 and k is 0 output will be 1 and when j and k both are 1 at that case the output q will change to opposite state which means previously if q was 1 at that case output will be 0 if q is 0 output will be 1 if we make j and k as 1 so this is also known as toggle because output is moving from 0 to 1 or 1 to 
0. So, this is about the operation of JK bystable. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.